Uh, this, this is the big uh, completion to Devontae Adams on the Smash Fade concept, so we're going to talk about that real quick. Um, but I kind of want to talk about it through a slightly different lens. I know, you know, a lot of people have looked at this. This is, and we'll just play it here uh, for a second, so you can kind of familiarize with yourself with it. Degora goes in motion, coverage bombs, Ramsey, Ramsey bumps to the outside. Devontae then kind of runs this Smash Fade over the top. Rogers delivers it to him in a handbasket. Big gain. Uh, I can't remember. 50, 50 some odd yards. Um, so I'm not going to get into a lot of kind of, I know what some of the, I don't know, discourse, I guess, is on this. What I do want to talk about is this in terms of uh, kind of how how we look at offenses through how they're evolving or how they're changing or how things are different through the kind of coverage that is being played. So you hear a lot about, you know, there's more too high. The Fangio system, the Packers are doing that as well with Joe Barry. And, you know, that was kind of brought back in vogue uh, last year with the Rams. Uh, and, and now teams around the league are doing it. But, you know, Fangio has always been there. But uh, what you hear a lot is, well, you, you know, it's hard to hit big plays down the field. This, to me, is an example of why that is. And, and it's really, it's nice to see because you can see that. And we're going to play it again here in a second, um, just so we can kind of see. We're going to look at those safeties, and then we're going to kind of look at it. So see how they spin? So when we talk about spinning safeties, that's what that's that's what we talk about. So let's, let's kind of get into that a little bit. So off the bat, this looks like uh, too high, you know. Looks like two, and they're pinched, which likely, likely tells you that this is like, uh, you know, quarters. Um just pre-snap is how they're looking. Because when you get those pinched, like if it's split, you know, and those guys can always break. But I usually talk about this in terms of a too-high shell. Uh, because <laughs> once you get more in the weeds than that, uh, it gets a little confusing. And so what you would do if this was a, so we'll say, we're just going to go ahead. We know it's not, but we'll say it's a too-high shell. Actually, let's draw these out a little bit more so we can envision kind of more of what this looks like. So the coverage would be something like that. There's gaps everywhere. This guy drops here. This guy drops here. You've got this little zone in the middle. And then, so your attack zones, you know, not necessarily there. They're dropping out, but you've got these, you know, the turkey hole shot, whatever. That's kind of what you're looking at. Let's do this again because I've already muddied the waters. All right, so you drop back. Let's see, his zone is here. And this is if this is too high. So the way an offense would attack this um, with with this kind of look, and we'll show kind of what that initial look is versus what the variation, if this is the regular smash concept, which is an old West Coast concept, it's uh, and I believe it was created by Lindy Infante, who was the, you know, the old Packers coach, and he said he got it from the San Francisco, and well, no one cares. Uh, there's a corner concept there. So basically what you're looking at is it's you're making a high-low read and you're attacking. You can see why you're attacking this way because this guy here, he's over the top, right? Like You can't go up over that because he's capping that route. So what this becomes is a high-low read where you're kind of targeting this guy here uh, because this guy's going to be kind of playing over the top. That safety's capping it. And so if this guy drops under here, that means uh, the short route is there, so you take that hitch. Now, if he decides, if he plays up on this, on the short route, then that means you've got a window to hit that guy over there. But, I mean, you can see, and, and they hit one to MVS um, on this uh, on, the, on this kind of China slash smash concept earlier, and I think it was, you know, something to the effect of uh, 24 yards, 24, 28 yards, something like that. Because you can, you're limiting yourself, because you have to, because how the defense is playing you. That's a short one, and you're attacking there. That turkey zone shot right there, we'll call it the turkey hole, because why not? Uh, and it's before that guy can cap it. But your throw's here. And so you're not catching that and getting upfield. You're catching that and you're going out of bounds because you're limited. Now, what we're going to see here is that you're too high. So if this is too high, that's what we're seeing. Now, what ends up happening is they spin. I think it's like this. So this guy drops. It's kind of like the whole player. This guy is your single high. And what now? That, what that opens up now... You still have the hitch, but now that becomes a, uh, a fade. So now this is your smash fade variant. And we saw a lot of this last year. The Packers loved running this for very for obvious reasons. You know, Devontae can went off the line, and against single high coverages, you're running away from that guy. You can see kind of how much room there is there. There's no one capping this area over here. So the the question comes down to, can I beat this guy here off the line? If I can beat this guy off the line, beat him up the field, and a throw is up, that safety can't get there because you're running away from it. It's still going to it's this is still going to the boundary because you're avoiding this single high safety, but you're doing it in a way that allows for big yards. You see that big yards down there. So again, the difference is we'll kind of we'll draw this up again. So against uh, I'll just do this the hitch whatever we'll draw the hitch. So against too high. You're limiting yourself to that. You know, nice gain, 15, 20 yards, something like that. Against single high you fade that up. 
and you get more vertical with it. And that's what they do here. Uh, so again, we'll kind of look at this through that lens and we'll see. And it sounds like, you know, I, I didn't watch the whole clip. It sounds like, cause it, the, for, for my purposes, I don't really care, but it sounds like, uh, you know, Devante kind of, you know, either called an audible or saw something and adjusted the route and, and likely what he saw, or, you know, my guess is what he saw or how you take advantage of this. Is that too high versus single high? Because if you, if you just run this against too high, this guy here is able to drop back. Now, maybe you still win, but it's harder because you got a, you got a safety cap in it. So we'll just see how that works. So Devonte wins spin to single high. We now see, all right, this guy's here. Devonte is bending this up. So now instead of capping yourself at a 20 yard gain or something to that effect, you are now opening yourself up to a, what ends up being, I think, I believe like a 54 yard gain, I think is what I was going for. Uh, so yeah, just this to me uh, is a perfect encapsulation of when we think of how you attack uh, single high versus two high. We say, you know, the, the, the two high kind of caps what you can do. It's it's for reasons like this. It kind of limits the routes you can run. You have to snap those off and cut those off. So you can still hit big-ish plays, um, but, but you kind of limit yourself. or You are limited by the defense based on what you can do because you're capping one side.